Hi everyone, trust you guys are doing amazing. In this video, I would be talking about the Parents and Grandparents Program 2021 Sponsorship Lottery that was held by IRCC. And in the next two weeks, you can expect over 30,000 invitations to um, Canadian citizens and permanent residents who, uh, you know, who wants to sponsor their uh, uh, parents and grandparents. Now, invitations, they will come from CIC and uh, uh, CPC Mississauga, do not reply, CTD Mississauga, NE Pass, Repondry.CIC, ATICIC.GC.CA, whatever I just said, uh, you'll find it here and here and somewhere. Uh, you, we're going to get an invite. Now, why I am saying all this is because, again, a lot of scam happens for so many reasons and uh, people take advantage of it. So you should be careful where your email is coming from and it is secure and it's safe and it's coming from the right official source. Okay. And the email subject would be parents and grandparents program invitation slash L invitation or presenter uno demand. I don't know French, but yeah, whatever you see written here, this will come. Another reason you know this, even people who want to scam will know this now and that's how they're going to send. But uh, you just need to make sure that whatever email is coming from is um, addressed to you completely is you know has mentioned your details and is coming from the right email address sometimes even a little spelling there's a difference of a little spelling and you don't notice because you expect it's the same thing so just be very very careful and sponsor parents and grandparents they will become Canadian permanent residents and they will enjoy all the benefits that there is the respect to health care and everything that a permanent resident enjoy here and receiving this invitation invitation um, is basically difficult because there's a strong demand among Canadian citizens and PR because everyone was in line from quite a time you know, to sponsor their parents and grandparents and in the past they have taken about 100,000 sponsor visit uh, its website to submit interest to sponsor the forms within minutes of launching so you can imagine 100,000 people um, are aiming at it and they will be rolling out 30,000 applications so of course it is not easy but let's keep our finger crossed and I'll, let's just hope that uh, everyone will eventually get it sooner or later now IRCC allowed sponsor to submit interest to sponsor form on its website if you remember that was between October and November 2020 and then it then held a lottery in January 2021 which was again a long waited thing to invite 10,000 sponsors now it is drawing from the same pool of 2020 candidates again to issue the 30,000 invitations in this round and IRCC has not yet specified that how it will manage the PGP in 2022 so now we are only concerned about this because there's a delay and there's so many things happening what will happen in 2022 oh my god my name is not here i haven't received the invitation it's okay they will sooner or later you're gonna get things and uh, you know you need to give them some time to uh, come with more updated information about what will happen in 2022 now what should you do if you have not received uh, a pgp invitation that is something we're going to talk about later but let's say what should you do if you have received a pgp invitation first of all congratulations so you must ensure that you meet all the eligibility criteria again um all the links that you need will be in the description so if whether you want to know what is the eligibility criteria just click on it and you're going to land uh, to that page so i will show you the eligibility criteria so first of all you must be at least 18 years of age a canadian citizen a permanent resident or be status first nations then sorry you must also demonstrate to ircc that you meet the minimum necessary income requirement again what is that requirement please click on the link and you will need to submit your Canada Revenue um, Canada Revenue Agency CRA notices of assessment for 2020, 2019, 2018 taxpayers because that will somehow make sure that whatever the minimum requirements are, you're meeting that. So that's the one area you need to be very sure of that you don't forge anything because that won't help. Then residents of Quebec, they are required to demonstrate that they meet the province uh, related income requirements because you will see that cubic usually has little different rules when it comes to these things even pr immigration and everything so please if you're in cubic please follow those rules and ircc and cubic they both require that sponsor sign an undertaking agreement and so if during that period your parents or grandparents they undertake any social assistance you know, the sponsor is bound to repay that because that's our minimum uh, income requirement that is you are capable enough financially stable enough that your parents or grandparents whosoever are coming here they will not be dependent on the government for any kind of assistance 
simple and the period is 20 years for non cubic resident and 10 years for the residents of cubic now what well, coming to the question what if you don't get invited to that's okay super visa is still an option it's an alternative to those who want to bring their parents and grandparents to canada till the time you do not fall into the category till the time you do not get your citizenship i mean sorry till the time you do not get your invitation to invite your parents or grandparents because of any reason or because of the reason you do not meet the eligibility criteria then you still have super visa in place canadian citizens and permanent residents they can submit the super visa application to ircc and it allows multiple entries to canada over a period of 10 years so your parents are allowed they do not have to apply for a visa again and again in that 10 year period they can come multiple times they can come stay for three months and go back and come again after two months and then stay for six months and go back so no one will question them that's a super visa for them uh, well, if you need any further information, please let me know. I will be more than happy to make a video. Yes, I have been receiving requests about Farmers Pathways, which is hopefully my next video. And then about something related to insurance and uh, it was how to get a teaching job. And then there were questions related to how can I come to Canada with, you know, if I do not meet those categories, whatever requirements are. And then there's so many questions. So I would really, really appreciate if you can be very specific about it. The only reason I'm not having a Q&A here now is because I respond to your emails and these are very specific to you. And few people do not want to be called out here on YouTube. So I completely respect your privacy. And I am happy that I'm getting more emails and more questions. And they are so specific questions that I don't think it would be generic enough to generalize them and talk about it. And that's the only reason because I'm answering this because I've got at least 10 emails talking about why you're not doing your Q&A session. And I'm like, because there are no more generic questions as such. Um, and I'm answering you personally through Instagram or email. Also, the general questions like farmer pathways, how to find a teaching job and related to insurance jobs and everything, insurance sectors. I would be making a different video so that you have a fair idea and you understand about this whole process. Keep writing, keep showing your love and blessing. Please like, share and subscribe if you have not done yet. And please click on the bell icon. Take care. Bye.